about to get underway. The dramatic matchup between the top two teams in the country, North Carolina State and UCLA. The Bruins were a dynasty, a legend. No one had ever won seven national basketball championships in a row before them, and UCLA was now going for its eighth. The Bruins had an amazing one-loss record going for them, stretching back over five years. They had intimidated many fine teams on this basis alone. But it was clear that the North Carolina State Wolfpack was not going to be intimidated. Seven-foot-four-inch center Tom Burleson's attitude showed how fired up the team was. UCLA was led by All-American Bill Walton and was looking again to handle this North Carolina State team, which it had beaten so convincingly three months earlier, the Wolfpack's only loss. But it became clear right from the start that this game was going to be a different story. Among the dramatic matchups was Keith Wilkes and Dave Thompson, Bill Walton and Tom Burleson. And it was on these matchups that the game turned. The Pack matched UCLA point for point for the first six minutes of play. alert ball handling forced Burleson into foul trouble, upsetting the Wolf Pack strategy. Playing inspired ball and collapsing state zone, UCLA pulled ahead, 19 to 14 at 8:39. Right, help back in there. He gets some long jumpers. He's not that good. He can hold him down the floor now. Barton and Barton, Phillips. But David Thompson sparked the pack to a sustained rally to go ahead of the fired up Bruins, out of the period, but the Bruins spoiled their bid and took it themselves on a last second 20-footer to carry them into the locker room in a 35 all time. HBO Connected for just 87 cents. Call 448-1000. You know what? My mom got us cable. Dad said, why cable? Mom said, they can learn from cable. Dad said, won't they learn about the birds and the bees? Mom said, no. Cable's got great programs for the family and plays and all good movies. So Dad said, cable's a great idea. Me, I really like cable. I've even seen a documentary on birds, but no bees. Stoic UCLA coach John Wood fired up his score, and they spurted to 14 points in the opening four minutes of the second half while holding state to only three. Note the two crucial turnovers.
State coach, Norm Sloan, who used only seven players with great discretion, called a crucial timeout. His mainstay, Tom Burleson, was still in foul trouble and would have to handle the explosive Walton with kid gloves. Go ahead, square it up. You know, get the, just break out deep and see what they do with you. Break deep, flare to one side, but go away from, from uh, Phillips. You know, he passes the ball in, start down the other side, right square it up. On offense, the Wolfpack needed to penetrate the UCLan defense. To do that, they first had to hit from the outside, and hit they did. With 9-12 to play, State spurted to eight straight points in only a minute and 22 seconds to narrow UCLA's margin from 57-46 to 57-54. After the two teams traded four baskets, the spunky Thompson, who collected 28 points to lead Wolfpack scoring in the game, put them ahead with a beautifully timed layup off an over-the-top pass from Stoddard at the 4.58 mark. And the crowd loved every minute of it. He was fouled on the play, missed the free throw, but Walton was called for invading the lane too soon, and Thompson didn't miss the second time. Then Bruin Dave Myers sank a basket at 4.35 to tie the game up at 63 all. By now, the crowd in all the sports world knew that this game was going to live up to their high expectations. Norm Sloan called his team together to consolidate their much improved position. Start trying to get it out. Now look, the guy that passes. Don't just go lollipopping over the side. Pass the ball and shade to see where you should be. It may be safe. And look, if they bring all three over, go all the way over to the His decision? Stall. And for two full minutes, stall they did. So did the Bruins. Both teams were looking for their best shot. But regulation time ended in a 65-65 tie. It was into overtime. And that meant a whole new ball game. North Carolina State picked up the tip-off, but Thompson's jumper bounced off the rim. After a great save by Wilkes, the Bruins lost the ball out of bounds. And then Burleson's turnaround gave the pack first blood. UCLA worked the ball to Greg Lee, who hit from 22 feet out to knock the score at 67 all. Burleson was fouled by Myers. But he missed his chance to salt it away. Stoddard stole the ball back, and State was looking for the clincher. But Burleson's last second effort fell short. The drama was heightened now beyond anyone's expectations. Double overtime in the NCAA semifinals between the nation's top two college teams. Both teams regrouped. If Coach Wooden's confidence in his seven-year national championship spring was shaken, he didn't betray it. State again controlled the tip-off. After Thompson missed a long shot at 432, Walton was fouled by Burleson. The All-Americans sank both ends of the one-and-one -one set, and now UCLA showed why they were perennial champions. After Burleson's shot was disallowed for goaltending, Walton hit a jumper at 350 for a four-point Bruin advantage. Mo Rivers was off target on the return for the Carolinians cause and Burleson lost the ball out of bounds.
UCLA worked the ball to Keith Wilk. And the Wolfpack watched and finesse his way to a picture-perfect three-point play and a 74-67 edge, which seemed to ensure victory with only 3.27 to play. But the Wolfpack boys, of which Norm Sloan was so proud, surfaced again in a time of real adversity. With the pressure mounting, little playmaker Monty Toe hit back-to-back -back free throws. UCLA's Tommy Curtis was fouled by the overeager Toe, and he proceeded to put through the first of two tries from the line to maintain a six-point goal. But Stoddard snared the rebound. Coming down court in a desperate situation, Dave Thompson hit his own shot back in at the 301 mark to draw within four points. The pack was back. The Bruins seemed to have lost control of the game, and they proceeded to lose the ball to Stoddard and Rivers with 157 to go. Bullison was playing with real fire and forced Walton into a foul. He hit the first point, but missed the second. Stoddard pulled it down. But the Wolfpack missed on three separate attempts. Ending with Monty Toe's miscue from the corner at 116. And this time, UCLA got the rebound. Myers was promptly fouled. And with a one and one coming up, he had a chance to put it on ice for the Bruins' eighth national championship in a row. He missed. Thompson cleared the boards and the Wolfpack drove down court. The feed went back to Thompson who hit a driving bank shot to put State in the lead 76-75 as the crowd roared its approval. The Bruins set up Lee for a clear shot from 15 feet, but he missed it. Wilkes rebounded, but was called for pushing Thompson to gain board position. Thompson made both of these all-important shots and the pack had a 78-75 lead with only 34 seconds left. But it was Tom Burleson, appropriately, who capped the lid. With 27 seconds showing on the clock, he intercepted a lead of Walton Pack. State tried to stall, but Toe was fouled by Curtis. And his final two free throws put the game out of reach. And Greensboro Coliseum erupted in celebration. Final score in double overtime. North Carolina State 80, UCLA 77. <laughs>